another edition of Coffee with Coaches. My name is Kevin Edelson. I'm pleased to be joined by head men's lacrosse coach Ryan Poley. And coach, beautiful day outside, it looks like. Yeah, it's, uh, we've had a great summer. Uh, unfortunately, we've been in, inside a bunch and uh, haven't been traveling like we typically do over the summer. But uh, today's, today's a great day. So happy to be here, Kev. Thanks for having me. Excited to catch up. Yeah, absolutely. So talk a little bit about what uh, what the summer's been like. Because obviously it's been very different for everybody, but in particular for you and your staff, because summer is a very busy time in terms of getting out and recruiting. Um, so what what's that been like? Yeah, so the NCAA... Um, came out very early that we the summer was going to be dead. They've kind of moved it along kind of periodically, but in the beginning it was the beginning of the summer summer was dead. And when it's dead means you can't have recruits on campus and you can't go out and evaluate. So it started off as a dead period in the beginning of the summer in May and June and then um, continued to go. And right now we're, we're dead through the end of September. So June and July are, are usually some of our busiest times as, as a staff and getting out and evaluating uh, potential prospects, um, talking to high school coaches, to, talking to club coaches and, and kind of really going all over the country to find uh, potential new terriers. And, and this year with COVID and the dead period, uh, we're not allowed to go on the road and evaluate. So a lot of work has, has been done on our, on our current team. Uh, and a lot of uh, work has been done over film. So with not having the ability to, to evaluate in person. Great. Um, a lot of work that you and your team have done this summer has been, um, you know, trying to get better educated and, and learn a lot more about how to be an anti-racist. And um, you were on the Inside Lacrosse podcast with Terry Foy talking about it. You and Ben Girolamo did, both did a great job. And just mention briefly on how important um, that is for you and your team, not just this summer, but certainly going forward uh, many years to come. Yeah, I think, I think you hit it on the head, Kevin. I, I think this is if we're going to do this thing right, then we're going to have to, this is going to be a, a full-time commitment. And it's something that is just not uh, a tweet or it's just not um, one, one opportunity to talk about it with the team, but we, we have to be committed uh, for this in, in the long game. And, you know, this summer has taught me a lot of things. Um, but one of the most important things that it taught me is, is my team is very passionate about this subject and they want to be involved with, with helping with it. They want to be involved with uh, invoking some change uh, and they want to become more educated on it. So, you know, the first thing that we did um, was have conversations about it. And we had very open conversations conversations a lot. Um, you know, I give the Drew Maricello and, and his staff a lot of credit and giving us the platform to talk as student athletes, but uh, having one-off meetings with our team and continuing those conversations were very important. And uh, the first thing that we realized is we weren't very educated on the subject. So we took the time to uh, read a book and how to be an anti-racist uh, by Dr. Kendi and uh, had discussions about that once a week for a five-week period. Uh, and just the insight from reading it and the insight from having those discussions were, were very beneficial. So, um, but as I said, we, we still have a lot to do and, um, you know, we're, we're going to continue those conversations once the kids get on campus and, and certainly try to do our part on, on campus and make a difference where we can. How excited are you uh, to have kids back on campus uh, this fall and to, you know, go from meeting virtually to having the opportunity to, to meet, albeit not as a big group, but to, uh, to be able to meet, um, you know, these kids in person and to, to have that interaction that uh, is so important in college athletics. Yeah, we, we can't wait to get back on campus. It's It's been a long time. Um, my first day in the office is tomorrow and um, just really excited to get in there and, and just get back to a little bit of normalcy and, and see kids. And uh, our kids are kind of been sprinkling in over the last two weeks um, and, and just, I can't wait to see them and can't wait to not, it, it would be great when the workouts start, but just to see them and, and be in the same room and, and be able to connect with them on a person to person level. How extra motivated are you and your team after last year being a shortened season, but you certainly ended it on a high note with a thrilling win at Colgate. And while obviously you weren't able to see the season through, um, you know, a lot of kids coming back and it's certainly going to be exciting just the prospect of what you guys will be able to do on the field. Yeah, I, it's funny you use the word motivated. I, I don't. I think everybody just wants to play um, and get out on the field, and everybody's kind of been cooped up and 
uh, some type of social distancing or with their families and just to, you know, get on the field and whatever we can do for this fall is, is kind of just our focus and allowing the guys to have a little bit of a, um, uh, you know, opportunity to, to play with one another and, and work on their skills. Once springtime comes, we're all super competitive and um, we really like our team this year and we're, we're excited. And I know guys have been working hard on their own as much as they can. So um, I, I think we'll be motivated to, to do the best that we can and, and hopefully we can have some type of season. How exciting was it to watch uh, four of your alumni in the uh, pros this year? We had three in the MLL with Cal Durth, who won the title with the Boston Cannons, James Burr with the Denver Outlaws, and Chase Levesque with Chesapeake Bayhawks. And then Reset, he had a great first season with uh, Chrome and the PLL. Just how exciting was it uh, for you as a coach to see, see these guys succeed at the next level? Yeah, it's incredible, um, you know, to watch these guys be great collegiate players and then get drafted and, um, you know, be given the opportunity to play at the highest level and then see the guys do so well is just so cool. It's so cool to turn on the TV and watch guys playing against each other and, uh, you know, then have, you know, the PLL and, and, and certainly the unbelievable amount of talent that, uh, Reese was going up against and how well he did was, you know, really a tribute to our coaching staff and, and how hard these guys work. And um, I, I think he can make a direct correlation to how far our programs come and that our best players can play with the best players in the world. Yeah, I was going to ask, how exciting is it, you know, after seven years um, to start the program from scratch and then to have these guys not just playing at the professional level, but succeeding and doing really well? Because, um, you know, it's not like they're going out there and just going through the motions. All these guys directly contributed to their team's success this year. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's uh, it's a tribute to everyone who's helped build this program. Uh, I think every you know me included was had had a vision of what we wanted this thing to be and where it was going to be in the first year and where it was going to be in year five and where we were going to be year seven and year ten and um, we. The goal was to bring in great student athletes with great character and have them work their tails off and, and become great collegiate players and compete for Patriot League championships. And I think we've done that. But then when you just take a step back and then you look at these individual players and, and how they can graduate and then go on to the next level of lacrosse and then just compete at the highest level. And as you say, contribute at the highest level and, and not even hold their own, but be some of the best players in the league uh, is it, super exciting and, and a tribute to everyone who's, who's helped build this thing. Yeah. And let's not forget that not only are these guys doing things professionally in lacrosse, but uh, we've been able to, to produce so many great, um, great men that are able to contribute professionally um, in whatever field they choose. And how exciting is it to see, all these guys uh, doing so well professionally and, you know, how important is the internship program and the mentorship program that, that you've established to uh, making sure that these guys, when they leave BU, uh, they leave with a great degree and um, a chance to do something special uh, outside of lacrosse. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about, Kevin. It's it's having four great years and, and meeting best friends for life, but then also – getting plugged into this network and the club alums have been incredible uh, with their support and giving their expertise and helping out with our mentoring program. And um, one thing that we were able to do with, um, you know, not being on the road as much and, and not having practices, myself and my staff made a commitment to revamping our met networking program and our mentorship program. And we'll actually release tomorrow but you know we have 60 guys on our team right now and every single player has a one-to-one -one mentor who's going to help them through the next couple months uh, depending on where they are in their career whether they're an upperclassman or an underclassman but you know giving them different tips and sharing some of their experience and expertise and with the goal of certainly getting the underclassmen ready for um, you know opportunities that present themselves and being ready for interviews but certainly upperclassmen trying to you know, secure jobs and uh, next steps in their careers. Great. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me and I uh, look forward to seeing you on campus this fall. Great, Kev. Thank you very much.